hello everyone welcome back to my channel silver graphics in today's video i'll be showing you how to design 2023 calendar using adobe photoshop so if this is the first time you can stick with me and don't forget to subscribe like and drop a comment and turn on notification so let's get started so i'm here in adobe photoshop cc i'm going to fire go to new so i want to create a new document and go to print so the design size for today is 83. We're going to be using the 83 size. Then we can rename this as calendar design. And we can put the resolution 300. And we can click create. So here is a calendar, a just a part of just January. Yeah, I created this before now. So this will make our work faster and quicker so I, I already made this before now so now let's go back to our calendar design so first thing first I'm going to take my shape to ellipse to now hold your shift and drag out draw out a circle okay and we have this here so place this right here now let me fit on screen so you can see this clearly so the next thing next we're going to do now now let's take our pen tool and we can create a new layer and we can rename it as let's just call it shape Now take your pen to right from this angle. Let me zoom this so you can see this. Take your pen to and you click and click outside and drag a little bit. Drag to form a curved shape. Hold your alt and click at the node now we go again and you click outside and drag to make this bend a little bit so make this curve a little bit so you can see right here okay let's do this gently hold your alt and click on the node here and let's take this close it up Then we can go to right click, right click, fill parts, go to color, and we can give it a color. So let's give it something like light and click OK. Right click and delete parts. So if you notice now, we can now take this shape to below the ellipse layer that is the shape layer now we can take our pen to again create a new layer now let's take this and drag click and drag put your alt to click on the node then we okay then we can put it right here put the alt and click on this right click and few parts go to color and let's give this a different color click ok right click and delete parts then we can place this beneath this all right and we are done with that now next thing 
we're going to do now is to add our image to the shape to that is the ellipse to so let's go to file go to place embedded and we are going to select the image so we've just imported this image into photoshop now let's check this out so we have our image right here now we want to place it inside this shape that is inside this ellipse shape we created now just go to the layer right click on the image and create clipping mask so you can see that the image is placed inside the shape now to edit this go to edit free transform now let's place this properly for good view now i can leave it at that now we can take our text to but before that let's bring out this the months and let's place them here so we're going to select all the layers and let's move it up a little bit now let's take our calendar so from this we're going to derive other months and place them here so for each for each month we're going to place it three by four or four by three so we can take this calendar here so let's take this select the layers then copy and we paste them here so let's group all then group it edit retransform Then we can reduce the size. So, like I said, three by four. So let's place them here. Now we have January for other months. Now remember we selected this layer and we pasted it here. Now if you can see this, you can see that we grouped the layers together. So we're going to duplicate it. Then we arrange this properly and edit it. Now Ctrl J on your keyboard to duplicate. Select the layer Ctrl J to duplicate. And go to edit, retransform. Now let's bring this down a little bit. Then we're also going to duplicate this again. So Ctrl J. So let's rename this so we can easily so here we can put this as one for here we can name this as two and here we can name this as three so ctrl t then we drag this down a little bit
So now we are going to add the guidelines so we are able to give them equivalent spacing. So let's use our guideline here. Let's put this here and also this with this here. So select the three months. Now let's take this up. So control T. So you are able to see it. Now take this up a little bit. All right, so now we are going to we are going to duplicate this into to so make this four three by four. So you can see three here, then here we are left with three. So now let's work on that. So right now you can see that these are having so the space between them are not equivalent now i'm going to do that right now All right, guys. So now we've just done the. I've just done the. the spacing, as you can see. 
So if I zoom this, you can see that this is properly done. Now we're going to take our text to and type. We're also going to edit some part of this. That is for the months and the days. So remember each month have a, each month have different number of days. So we're still going to do that. But before that, let's take our text to go to your images. So let's take our text to and type. So we type right here. And we are using the font Montserrat. So we type 2022. Let's increase the size. Let's increase the size. So we have the 2023 calendar design. Okay, I want them to be separate. So, first of all, let's take our 2023. Let's change the font. Let's give it. So, use the font. Let's try papers and increase the size 72 and it's transform let's make this large send it to the calendar So let's change the font to Elvis. Edit free transform to increase the size. So we have twenty twenty. Calendar. You can also add Happy New Year. Okay, let me just put that. Happy New Year. Well, now that it's late, we're still in February, so it's still okay by that. And just place this here. Happy New Year, 2023 calendar. And you can pre transform. Now, let's fix this part. So right now, we are going to add a button. 
so let's move at the top take your rectangle to at the top of the layer happy new year then create a box to the shape and we give it a color let's change the color and our months select the layers we're still going to group everything together but first we have to edit it so we just drag it down into it Alright, now I'm going to speed this part up because I'm going to edit the text for each month in the day. So I'll see you in a jiffy, don't go anywhere. So right now we want to change the color of the text. So for our text, let's align it and give it. Okay, let's try white. Okay, that works well. On the calendar, you can give it white also. Then add in here. Let's give it a different color. Okay, let's see blue. Let's 
So we just select color and let's check it out. Okay. Let's give this right. So we all run together. So right now we're going to go to file, let's embed it, let's import our icons. So for this, let's give it a color. Okay, I think we should give it the same color. Okay, let's see. Now for this, let's go to blending options and we add color overlay you can just put it to white and for this so here we bring this over here and here we take our phone to create a new layer and Let's create a slant shape. Let's so make a few parts. Or we can, okay, let's delete this. We can pick our rectangle to draw out a rectangle. Let's give it. This color, Control T. Put your Control and just bend it a little bit. So we place this here. This part fits to the other rectangle. To create clipping marks. Sorry, create clipping marks. So you can see that we've power clipped it inside this rectangle, that is the longer rectangle. So you just right click and paste it in mark. Then we can just okay, control C. Let's move this longer. Let's check this out. Right. Now pick your text to pick your text to and type. Sorry, 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 sorry. Take your text to and type. Business name. Highlight and change the color. Yeah. For this. And delete it. So this will be the business name. Let's change the size of the font. Let's change the font itself. 
dann gebe ich es mal uns jetzt. Um, we can change the size to 30. So we have the other details here. And color over play, copy layer style, and right click and paste it. Paste layer style. So this becomes white also. Ctrl T to reduce the size. So this is where we apply our ruler We are good to go so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this video please subscribe like comment and share and i'll see you guys in the next video